Please join me in praying for the church in Italy and the salvation of Italians. I'll be praying out of 2 Thessalonians 2, 16, 17, all the way through 3, 5. It says, Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified, just as it is with you, that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Pregherò per la Chiesa in Italia dalla seconda lettera ai Tessalonicesi, versetti 16 e 17, poi capitolo 3 fino al versetto 5. Ora lo stesso Signore nostro Gesù Cristo e Dio nostro Padre, che, che ci ha amati e ci ha dato per la sua grazia, una consolazione eterna e una buona speranza. Consoli i vostri cuori e vi confermi in ogni opera buona e in ogni buona parola. Per il resto, fratelli, pregate per noi perché la parola del Signore si spanda e sia glorificata come lo è tra di voi. Ma il Signore è fedele ed Egli vi renderà salvi, vi guarderà dal maligno il Signore diriga i vostri cuori all'amore di Dio e alla paziente attesa di Cristo. Father, I thank you that we can come before you today, gathered in this room, people watching now and even who will watch later. We get to pray, we get to come before a throne with the King who is also a Father. I can come to you on behalf of the church in Italy. I can lift up this prayer that has been read and prayed, and we can pray it again, knowing that you hear us, and that you're moving. When we ask you to do these things for the church in Italy, for people who we may not know, but are our brothers and our sisters, who need us to pray, for their hearts to be strengthened, for you, Holy Spirit, to move and comfort, for you to direct their hearts into the love of Christ, because only you can. We can't sustain it on our own strength. So I ask you to do it, God. And Lord, today on my heart are the, the Italians who are at the end of their lives and that they don't know you. Lord, I lift them up and I ask for believers, these believers that we just prayed for, that moved by compassion, compelled, they would share your living word and truth and the gospel, that your word would run swiftly and that it would be glorified, not just in Italy, God, but I ask for Italians across the nations who don't know you but are dying. Send your believers, send the witness that the word even now, because we prayed, it would run and run in hospital rooms, in bedrooms, and you would be glorified. I ask that you would come and encounter them, that at the proclamation of the word, that your presence would fill rooms and that people would meet you people who perhaps thought that they were covered because they were sprinkled as a child, who say they believe but they never met you and surrendered. Lord, for those people, we lift them up today. We ask for the believers in boldness tomorrow in Italy as they get up that they suddenly think, I need to go visit so-and-so. That you by your spirit would direct them to go pay visits in hospitals and 
share and pray. And because today we prayed that there would be many that are saved because your believers were moved and that your word ran swiftly. So in the name of Jesus, I do pray for that word to run and be glorified. restrictions, that you would come to their room, that they would be with you and you yourself 
would cause their hearts to turn. You, Holy Spirit, direct hearts to Jesus. And I ask that suddenly they would realize their desperate need for you and to turn in repentance of sin and conviction of that. And that they would turn and be welcomed by our beautiful, loving God who forgives. Lord, I ask for those kind of encounters. Those who have grown up thinking they were covered, that they knew because they knew your name and they'd been through catechism. God, I pray for those ones. They would have everlasting consolation forever with you, the one who wipes every tear from our eyes and who has conquered death and the grave. I ask, Lord, they would meet you. And Lord, I ask for the believers who are beginning to grieve because they're losing loved ones. You promise here that that you would comfort us. You would comfort our hearts. God, establish them in good word and work. Continue to give them that patience and steadfastness of Christ. Come and sit with them and be with them. I lift up these prayers to you, thanking you that you hear us, thanking you that you're moving even now for my beloved Italians. I pray this in Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus Christ, the hope of glory, reveal yourself even right now. Encounter them through dreams and visions. You're the hope, hell of the future. Esperanza di Gesù in Italia. 